Okay, so now that the Witch Queen has come out, we can finally talk about a new exotic bow, or rather an old exotic bow called Tigger's Divination, because I actually didn't get this during its seasonal reward time. Here we are, somewhere in Savathun's throne world. I think it's a lost sector. Apparently it's an ancient hive tomb or something like that. So as you can see, the way this works is you hit fire with this weapon, and then you do a normal aim shot with this weapon. And when you hit fire with this weapon, it tags enemies. And then you shoot enemies that are tagged, and they explode. Like so, a gigantic fiery explosion happens. So that actually makes this weapon pretty intuitive to use, and also makes this weapon very interesting. Luckily with the hip fire, you actually shoot out these micro missiles. So it's a bit of an aimbot bow as well. Like so, but the main source of damage does still come from a normal archery shot. So it's not actually like an easy mode bow at all. Except for maybe against super low level mobs, in which case even the hip fire could potentially kill an enemy as well. Not gonna bother with this dude. Like so. So let's have a look at the weapon itself. This is the weapon itself. As you can see, Tigger's Divination, it is a combat bow. It comes with tactile string, straight fletching, and Causality Arrows. Causality Arrows and Sacred Flame, of course, being the main trait of Tigger's Divination. Arrows fire while aiming down sights will cause Sacred Flames to instantly detonate. Sacred Flames, of course, being the tagging system that comes with this bow. If we have a look at the bottom, Sacred Flame. Hit firing this weapon causes multiple tracking projectiles, i.e. mini missiles, to then uh, explode upon death or when they are struck by another Sacred Flames explosion. These, of course, marking targets. So, Precision hits from perfectly drawn arrows will increase the power of the detonation that comes from Sacred Flames. So, that's essentially it. That is why this particular weapon is really, really good at you target enemies, and then you explode them just like that. Target enemies, explode them just like that. Target enemies, explode them just like that. Keep in mind that Sacred Flame does have a little bit of a duration on it, so you will need to actually, you know, hit the enemy relatively soon after you tag them. There is of course a little marker that you can see on the screen that basically shows how many uh, enemies are currently being targeted, so you can use that to your advantage. Basically, uh, really good positioning will sort out most of these enemies. It seems like the maximum amount of enemies that can be targeted is three, so definitely something to keep an eye on. I was kind of hoping that you could target more than three, but uh, that seems to be the idea. Usually I find that this weapon only targets two though, even when there are very much, very clearly three enemies on the screen. And then sometimes it actually just targets three for no other reason as well. Very strange indeed. The uh, hip fire and the targeting medical, uh, the micro missiles rather, of this particular weapon can be very useful when you're using something like Child of the Old Gods, which is of course a new trait that comes with Voidwalker. Because that way what I could do is a bit of a long range target onto a bunch of enemies. And then in doing so, I... Uh, get to just send off my Void Soul to go and siphon uh, energy from those enemies. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you think all of this in the comments below. What do you think about Tigger's Divination, especially with regards to the other exotic bows that exist in the game? That being, of course, Lemon Arc and Trinity Go. I don't really know a whole lot about uh, Wish Ender. I also don't feel like Wish Ender is a terribly useful bow, or at least it's not that interesting to me. Ah oh, shit, I should kill that guy at the start. To me, Lemon Arc is probably a better boss killing bow, single target bow, because the damage over time does seem to be a lot more single target focused. That being said, of course, you could use it to take out a lot of enemies. If you happen to get a lot of enemies near each other, you can use the explosion of Lemon Arc to do a lot of damage over time. But I feel like, this is just my feeling, uh, that Lemon Arc is much more suited for single target damage, i.e. boss targets. Shredded Eagle, of course, being a much better uh, crowd clearing bow in the sense that like especially if you get the trinity ghoul catalyst it basically becomes one of the strongest crowd clearing weapons in the game probably or certainly one of the most interesting crowd clearing weapons in the game for mobs and all that jazz and i think chicken stupidation is a uh, really really decent uh bow in the middle between something like lemon arc and something like trinity ghoul but that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more Destiny 2 content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.
Bye.